You think it's about time you look for a job? No. Why? It's been over a month since you were fired, Brian. Wasn't fired. <gasps> then what would you call it? I was it? laid off. They caught you asleep three times in the space of a week. I wasn't fired. Why are you so grumpy all the time? I'm grumpy because you're in all day doing nothing. Is and this I... about the rent? Look, I told you I'll give you the check as soon as it comes through the post. Don't you see? What? It isn't coming. They never promised you any money. You were fired. It wasn't! Just because you're so sensible in your safe little job. Well, I've got plans. I'm going to make something of myself one day. Oh, like what? Sitting on your ass watching TV all day? This gets fucking worse. Well, we're down the park and... Let me get this right. You were down the park. What's that got to do with fucking anything? Not only have you refused to kill the boy, you've stopped the boy from killing himself, which would have solved my problem, which would have solved your problem, and which sounds like would have solved the boy's problem. It wouldn't have solved his problem, Harry. Ken. If I'd have killed a little kid, accidentally or otherwise, I wouldn't have fought twice. I'd have killed myself on the fucking spot. I'd have put the gun in my mouth on the fucking spot. But that's you, Harry. I mean, the boy has the capacity to change. Excuse me, Ken. I have the capacity to change. <laughs> yeah, you do. You have the capacity to get fucking worse. Oh, now we're getting down <laughs> to it. Look, Harry, I mean no disrespect. And I'm not being funny. But you're a cunt. And the only difference is you, you're going to become an even bigger cunt. And maybe have some more cunt fucking kids. You fucking retract that bit about my cunt fucking kids. Okay, I retract a bit about your cunt fucking kids. Wait, you can't overrule me on this. Dr. Stevens, this is fruitless. I've told you this hospital cannot afford another lawsuit. You of all people should know that. But... Okay, so let's say you're right. So we just do nothing and let her die, knowing a simple blood transfusion would save her, because her parents... If her parents won't consent to the transfusion, we cannot and will not do anything. Do you understand, Doctor? Don't you look at me like that every time! Every single time I need help. You're not there. You're busy. I've been there for you so many times, when your girlfriend dumped you, when your crap car breaks down, even called at work to say you're ill, when you're too stoned to get out of bed! One time, just one time, I need you! Look, it will only take about an hour. Please, please just help me. You owe me! You're going to go live with him? You can stay here if you want. Oh look, I don't give a fuck about the spoils. You did this to me the day we met. You let me hang myself for your own amusement. Why didn't you just tell me the second I walked through the door? I was scared. You're a coward, you spoiled bitch!